Who's up, family? It's your girl, the new supporter, Mary Lynn. That's 20 Mary Lee. I just got done taking a cat nap. Today is supposed to be August 15, 2019. I was thinking. You understand what I'm saying? Like I always do. I'm always on point. You know, I was, uh, you know, I did my little video about Oakwood Cemetery on 67th and College Grove, right? And I got done doing the video and I was walking towards 63rd and Cottage, right? But before I got to 63rd and Cottage, you understand what I'm saying? I came across the Aldi's food store and it was a gang of young guys you know teenagers you know I'll say about from 12 to about 15 years of age now they wouldn't bother me you know but they look to be like a gang you understand what I'm saying and I was trying to figure out what, what was their purpose because I go in that store, all these, sometimes, and there'd be like two or three of them on the outside, you know, just chilling. You know, uh, asking for change or whatever the case is. But this time, it's, it was kind of different. It looked more like a mob of guys. I was like, wow, all these young guys just piled up outside of the, you know, gate of, you know, all these, not on the inside where it would be harassing, kind of like on the sidewalk. And I'm looking like, what is they doing? And, you know, what, what's the purpose? Let me tell you a joke before I tell you the story. And my real Mary McAmyris that got my book, Ryan's Poems and Metaphors Plus One Song, you already know this joke if you read my book. And if you got my book, I'm willing to purchase my book from you, along with my uh, vocals and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? The complete package. If you got the one with Harriet Tubman, you know, the movie, and that would be an extra $50. So for $150, I am willing to purchase my book, Ryan Poems and Metaphors, plus the three uh, CDs that I, uh, you know, had my vocals to it and the Harriet Tubman, you know, story for $150 because, you know, good things are hard to come by, for real, for real. So uh, let me put that little uh, sales pitch out or whatever and stuff. So in the book, I talked about a, a you know, I said a little joke. I said I was walking down the street and I seen a man. And I said to the man, I said, do you see what I see? And the man said, I don't know what you see. I said the same thing you see, you see. See, it's a real simple joke. But in order to see what I see, you got to be looking through my eyes. And everybody don't see what I see. You know, real talk. I'm not going to see what you see. You're not going to see what I see. You may see some things that I see, but the obvious, you might not see. So that's an extension of that joke. All right. It's not funny, right? Now back to the guys. Because this going to be funny right here. In my motherfucking mind. The way I see it. So it was about 10 of them. And I'm looking like, what is they, is, what, what, what's going on? You know, are they game banging? Are they selling drugs? What is going on? So I'm looking, I don't see no girls. I'm like, what is happening? So I looked on the ground and I seen, you know, they had just a little thing of candy. Nobody was holding the candy. Nobody was trying to sell the candy. It was just kind of like, you know, on the ground on the outside you know amongst them or whatever and it was like some M&M's some king size M&M's and it some regular Snickers and some or I think regular Twix or something I just noticed the M&M's 
and a Snicker. And a Snicker you can get from the dollar store for like 80 some cent. So my mind was on the Snickers. You understand what I'm saying? For real. And you know, I was like, what, how much is the candy? And one of them said, $3, two for five. I said, $3, two for five. And another one said, yeah, it's the king size. Assuming I wanted the M&Ms with nuts. See, that's how I got in this situation with so-called people. And you understand, all up in my business. They always assume that I want the M&Ms with nuts. But the Snickers got nuts too. I'm like, Dad, $3, two for five. So I didn't buy anything. Of course, you understand what I'm saying? Because hell, you know what I'm saying? My teeth is bad enough. So, you know, I kept going. I went to the gas station and got, you know, two packs of uh, peanuts for a dollar and some change. You understand what I'm saying? I said all that to say before I got my peanuts. I looked inside of this uh, storefront or whatever, and it had uh, a picture of the Barack Obama girls all grown up, right? Now I asked the guys, I said, Dad, where the girls at? You know, and then I came across the picture, but I ain't take a picture of it but I could tell they had grown up. And I'm like, God, you know, I did all that campaigning to get the girls in the White House. Not Barack Obama, not Michelle Obama, but them two little girls, because it reminded me of me and my foster sister, you know, Kimberly Ratman. It was the only reason why, you know, I wanted the Obamas in the White House. But I don't see the girls, you know, on the videos, you know, by themselves talking about how it was in the White House. You understand what I'm saying? See where this is going? It's like taking candy from a baby. You feel me? Real so. But I know them girls is running some things. I know they are. Because when I was their age, you know, all eyes was on me. So, I just want to know what's really going on because they grown now and I'm trying to work on some other young you know people that's you know struggling or whatever got aspirations and things of that nation uh, or nature you know it's like the spotlight is off of them I didn't even get a partner or anything you understand what I'm saying why Barack was in the office or whatever and stuff but you know, it just disturbed me that it was a gang of guys and the candy was on the ground. I mean, it, 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 it just seemed out of place. You feel me? I don't know where I'm going with the end of this video, but I just want people to think about, you know, the hard work that my, my people put in to get the Obamas in the White House. And I'm sure everybody want to know, where, where's, where's the girls? How they doing? You know what I'm saying? You know, what's, what's the latest on them and stuff? What was the meaning for all this heartache and pain that I, you know, or that was inflicted on me and that I had to endure? And all the fucking rotten teeth in my mouth and shit, for real, for real, because I didn't have the proper, you know, upbringing and stuff. You feel me? You understand what I'm saying? You see where this is going? Real talk. I, I feel as though, you know, my story was raped. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. I really, really do. You know, Barack and, see, Barack, that's candy. It was a, a candy shop on the west side. You know, but they tore the the factory down. It was called Brock's Candy. But if you mix them words and letters around, it's Barack. You know what it is. Like taking candy from a baby. Real talk. See, Barack was a 
advocate reader. So he knew. He knew. He knew who the fuck I was. Michelle, she knew. But I don't think she was as... Uh, I don't think she was well informed like Barack was. She looked at Barack as if, oh, he was just, you know, gullible. He had a car that had a hole in the flow and, you know, as if he was a lame, you know. But the guys say, you know, we play blank, blank, blank like basketball, you know. You know, like Dr. J played basketball. That's what the guys say. You understand what I'm saying? We play block, block, block. Like Dr. J played basketball. You could call me too. Don't say it twice. You get me real mad now, your wife. You understand what I'm saying? See, I'm not proper. I'm really polite. Mary Mac, Mary Mac, don't say it tonight. So that's that too short rap. You understand what I'm saying? For real. You know, and a lot of guys grow up listening grew up listening to Too Short and they thought they was pimps and players and you know gamers you know but I got game too we all got game you understand what I'm saying listen to the song by Public Enemy for real I think it's called you know he got game and that's all Barack had was a little game and shit for real so yeah, I hope to see the um you know the Obama girls, you know, one day talking, you know, for themselves and stuff, because they old enough now. You understand what I'm saying? I just wanna know what am I going through hell for and I almost died for. Because it definitely wasn't for no damn candy. You understand what I'm saying? Get a new supporter, Mary. Don't put that to the Mary and Lee. Peace.